How's it going everyone? Cameron here, bringing you the first video of Path of Exile 3.7 Legion. Uh, we just finished up 50 T1 desert maps, uh, cleaned all the dump tabs up, and this is the first tab of loot. Got a full set of 6 link Imperial Bow, Imperial Legacy card, which will turn in, in just a second. Got a Void card from a stacked deck, which we got quite a few of, most of which were garbage but we got a monstrous treasure and there is also a, a 1 of 12 there we go 1 of 12 exalted card which is not bad uh, we got a plague more 5 from a legion mob as well as unbearable whispers 4 plague more 3 unbearable whispers 4 again plague more 4 so not too bad a bunch of essences as well as a remnant of corruption couple of uh, scarabs, all from Legion, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I got any of them from the Betrayal. Uh, some splinters, not too bad. A couple of Divine Vessels, which now only take up one slot, which is Happy Days. And I got these from Legion mobs as well, so Happy Days for that. Uh, jumping over to the Currency tab, we got a bunch of Transmutes, which don't really matter, but I use these, and as well as Armors and Blacksmiths for... ID scrolls, 240 alteration, 66 chances, we did get an exalt drop, couple of regals, 56 alchemy orbs, 37 chaos. Now, the reason I have so many alterations and such is I was picking everything up with a strict filter, uh, no, very strict filter, and IDing everything, but now that we're like three, four days into the league, depending on when I get this up, um, what I'll be doing is just grabbing all of it, dumping it all into the stash tab, grabbing out unidied chaos recipes, then just IDing, vendoring the rest. Uh, 35 fusing, so yeah. 35 fusing, 275 pretty much jeweler orbs, bunch of val orbs, a huge amount of splinters. We got 24 templar, 49 kaburi, 10 marrakath, which is a bit like way, way under the other four. Uh, what's this? Eternal Empire and 44 Val Splinters. All of this combined, we got 254 Chaos worth of loot uh, going by the market price as of right now. Uh, we did get a bunch of other things like uh, um, like unique items in that which I just sold, which I won't count into this because I mean that will throw the price way off. Like for instance, I've got double um, pariah rings or for mob uh, well both of them both rolled white so I sold them to and that pretty much what kick-started all my gear which was happy days sold them for an exalt each so yeah, not doing that I not doing delve because if you get unlucky with uh, sulfite and don't get very many delves that can be really awkward as well for price mapping also, if, if you get really lucky doing a delve, again, that can also throw it off. I did one uh, before I started this as I was just doing normal maps and got like 1x and about 40 chaos from one single delve run. So, I mean, that will throw prices off a lot too. So, it'll just be purely from the map. Legion, uh, Temple of Atsuwaddle, I'll do the, like the incursions, but the end temple I will be leaving and I'll be doing a loot video once I've done 20 or 30 or something of those for a complete loot there. But yeah, apart from that, uh, that's the first video done. Just quickly go to Navali, trade divination cards, six link imperial bow, happy days for that. And oh, Shire of Swords, whatever, I can go to my unique tab so happy about this tab so happy um, quickly go to the map loot chance it because why not where am I chance to boop it's terrible but yeah the fact that you got 24 of these cards in 50 map with no MF means if you were after this for any particular reason that would be very good to farm it especially if you were doing like a four player party or whatever but yeah, that's it for the first video. Thanks for watching. I'll have the next one out soon because I already have part way through them. 
because I didn't have any currency to start doing this, so I just was doing whatever maps I had. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next